Raise the deck as high as it will go. This will make reaching the underside of the deck easier. Jack up the front end. Remove the blades. Remember to remove the blades before you remove the deck belt or it will be much more difficult to remove the blades later on. Scrape off the big chunks. No need to be perfect as the rest will come off with pressure washing. Lower the front end. Remove the deck cover bolts and nuts and the deck cover. Remember to return the nuts and bolts so you don't lose them. Using a half inch drive breaker bar or ratchet, rotate the idler pulley clockwise, then carefully slide the deck belt off of the idler pulley. A breaker bar is preferable as they are generally both longer and more heavily built. Loosen the pulley cover bolts and remove the pulley covers. The bolts need not be removed. After recording your belt and pulley layout, remove the deck belt. It is easiest to remove the belt front to back. Raise the deck again. This time it is only necessary to raise the deck high enough to get a few blocks underneath it. Place blocks under the deck. Two on each side should suffice. Lower the deck onto the blocks. Check the four deck chains to make sure they are loose. Remove the deck chains from the deck. It is easiest to remove the bolts from where the chain attaches to the deck, not to the mower frame. Remember to return the nuts to the bolts for safekeeping. Note that in each case, the socket is on the nut and the wrench is on the head of the bolt. Carefully lean the mower back as far as it will go. The mower need not be running. Also note that the center of gravity is now behind the wheels, so the front end should not tip forward. With the mower tipped back, this bolt will be exposed. Remove this bolt on each side of the mower with a long socket extension. It is easiest to remove with two sockets and ratchets. Here we have used a breaker bar to loosen the first turn a bit, as these bolts can be a bit tight. Move the mower out of the way. This can be done with the motor running or not. However, starting the motor will require lowering the front end back to the ground. Also, Note that these tines will need to be fastened with baling wire or a bungee cord or something of the like if the mower is to be moved in a forward direction. Also note that with the mower no longer evenly balanced, you will have to be careful when moving the mower as it may rock and wobble a bit while you move it around. Lower your garage door. Now the deck should be easy to move with an appliance dolly. With the appliance dolly, Move the deck so it leans up against the garage with the top facing out. This is the last chance to remove ancillary items from the deck like the collector attachment. Check the deck for any items that ought to be removed for cleaning. Pressure wash the top of the deck, moving in a side to side fashion starting at the top, much like a typewriter. Be sure to get every nook and cranny. Turn the deck around and wash the underside of the deck, moving in a side-to-side -side fashion starting at the top. Remember to get all the hard-to-reach places. Once the deck is otherwise clean, use the pressure washer to rinse out the water collected at the bottom of the baffles. Once the water has turned clear, the baffles are clean. Using the appliance dolly, lower the deck to the ground and lightly rinse any splashback and pressure wash the rear facing parts of the deck. Use compressed air to remove water buildup, especially in the pulleys. Move the deck out of the way, either to a heated indoor location or to a high sun area for drying. Remember to leave the top of the deck facing up. Move the mower into position for cleaning. The front should face the garage door. Clean the mower. 
As there are many sensitive electronic and working parts, focus only on cleaning problem areas like where the engine meets the mower body and the areas around the hydraulic wheel motors. Otherwise, just lightly rinse. Use compressed air to remove water buildup, especially in the hydraulic motor fans. Move the mower out of the way either to a heated indoor location or to a high sun area for drying. Clean the rest of the parts and move for drying one by one. It may be necessary to use a block to keep the parts off the ground to limit splashback. Use this opportunity to clean your garage door. Allow everything to dry and reassemble in reverse order from disassembly. Drying may take overnight depending on your drying conditions.